I was looking for a way to get back into the workforce. Um, I really didn't know where to start and somehow I stumbled upon Vermillion. Um, I think I saw something on social media about an event, um, sort of a networking event for women looking to return to work and um, get their careers reignited. So I thought this is a perfect opportunity for me um, to get things going. And I think one of the, one of the first events that I went to um, was more of a networking event and I ended up meeting all these women um, in my community and, and neighboring communities that were in the same exact position as me. Um, you know, took a break from work, whether it be six years or 10 years or 15 years, um, some to care for children, some to just make a change. Um, and I was overwhelmed with um, how unalone I was. Um, I really was feeling isolated at home and working from home. And it was great to have this opportunity to meet other people and uh, go through our challenges and goals together. My name is Rachel Grandmother, and I live in New Rochelle, New York. I am the director of HR at Class on Point Partners, which I began in September of 2016. I stopped working in about October of 2008. Um, at that time, uh, a month later, I had my first child. I was practicing um, as a litigation attorney at the time. I wasn't quite sure what uh, I was planning on doing. I never actually intended to take a, an extended period of time off, but after having my first child, my husband and I decided that it was the best decision for us for me to stay home for a short time, and it worked for our family at the time. The biggest challenge I found in re-entering is that um, initially I was really worried about reaching out to people and letting them know that I was looking for a job. Um, that was, It's just not in my DNA to just start broadcasting to the world that that's something that I'm doing. Once I started to get comfortable, I told a person here and then I told another person, it started to kind of, um, it really worked out nicely where I, you know, I talked to one person and then they put me in touch with their friend who put me in touch with their friend. Um, but the problem that I was facing that I was having a really difficult time is that once I spoke to somebody, um, I didn't know how to take it a step farther. So I didn't know how to go from, thank you so much for your informational meeting. I appreciate what you, the help that you've done for me to actually saying, do you have a position available? Or do you know somebody who has a position available? And I, I felt like I had a lot of roadblocks with that. And it, sometimes, you know, I had a lot of highs and a lot of lows um, because after I spoke with someone and I thought it went really well, I realized I didn't ask them at the end, is there an available position for me? Or do you know someone who might have a position or keep me in mind? It was just kind of like a thank you so much, I appreciate your time, and now what do I do next? So that was what was the most difficult. And I, I learned from that in each conversation I had, um, and I had to really take that and learn from that. And um, and I think that I eventually did, did learn how to, to, to do that and feel more comfortable, but it was something that did not come naturally. The most difficult part about re-entry is nothing that I actually imagined it would be. I thought that actually going to work was going to be really um, the challenge, but that really wasn't what it is. It's really, and, and I actually thought that my children were going to have a really hard time with it. And again, they, they adjusted so much better than I ever anticipated. What's the hardest for me, and I'm still adjusting to it, is everything else that comes in life. So when I pick my kids up at 4.30, 4.45, from their after school program, the day's not done. It's not even nearly done. We're running to, you know, soccer practice and this practice and, you know, having this event and we have so many activities and the weekends, again, are so busy. We're always running. I used to have a stocked fridge every day and I would go to the store every single day. I had my friends at, at the grocery stores at Trader Joe's. I had my friends that worked there and I no longer have that. And we often open up the refrigerator on Tuesday and there's nothing for dinner. And that is just <laughs> something that my husband's had to adjust to, that I've had to adjust to. Um, we recently just um, started getting uh, pick up and drop off of dry cleaning, which has been a lifesaver. But all those little adjustments we've had to make because um, that there's just not as much time in the day as I had before. So it's really trying to figure out how to adjust my time and use it um, in, in the most efficient manner. My name is Sue Habucky. I am a healthcare administrator. I work at Stanford Health Medical Group. I found my job in August of 2017 after a year long search and a 13 year career gap. I found the largest hurdle for me in the career reentry process was finding the courage to 
ask for help. Brumillion was able to help me in connecting me with like-minded women on the same journey and they also provided valuable interview tips which I incorporated into my process. For me, the best career re-entry tip would be to never lose confidence in your ability, stay positive and remember what you're capable of doing because it's a long journey and if you doubt your ability, it's easy to get discouraged. So stay confident and stay positive.